Hello everybody. How is everybody doing? Great. Nice. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my name is uh, Amandeep Singh Jagde, or how my friends like to call me, Aman Deep. <laughs> Who's not getting it? A man deep. A man. Deep. Sing Jagde. It's not accurate, actually. Uh, a more accurate name would have been A man. Not so big, not so small, just the right size for anal. Sing Jagde. I like my name, it's a Punjabi name. It means the light of peace. What a feminine name for a guy like me. <laughs> Sounds like a Harry Potter book title. Harry Potter and the light of peace. <laughs> I wish I had a more manly name, you know. Like engine oil, WD-40 sing. You know, receding hairline sing. You know, something more manly. I like my Punjabi name, it's uh, gender neutral, you know, Kala Singh is a very woke, gender neutral name, <laughs> boys and girls can have the same name, you know, means there are at least 15 million female Amandeeps <laughs> just in Kericho, you know, this is, I think I'm going to marry a girl from Kericho about Amandeep, you know? just for the jokes. Just for the wedding card to read, Amandeep words, Amandeep. <laughs> Give it to conservative uncles. <laughs> They'll be confused. Amandeep words, Amandeep? I thought men marrying men was weird. People are marrying themselves now, what is happening? I can even hear the aunties gossiping. You know, the aunties that come to your wedding and eat your rice and still pitch, <laughs> complain. Free food and they still complain. Yeah. I can hear those aunties at my reception already. Oh my god, have you seen Amandeep's beard? It's even bigger than her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those aunties, man. I wear a turban, so I get asked a lot of turban related questions. Like, Aman, do you shower with your turban? What do you think? <laughs> Who asked that? <laughs> KCP or IGCSE? What did you do? I'm guessing KCP. <laughs> of course I shower with my towel. It keeps, <laughs> keeps my hair dry. <laughs> One of the weirdest ones is, I was asked, I was recently I was asked, Aman, when you go down on a girl, do you keep your turban or do you remove it? Why is that? I'm like, Dad, I mean, why are, you, why are you asking me this? Of course I keep it, you know. It keeps my hair dry. You know? You know, you know how they say baby powder is for babies and baby oil is for babies. You know, the first time I heard uh, child porn, I thought it's porno for children. <laughs> it's pornographic material for children. It sounded funny to me. Just all have an intro for babies. You know, baby, fuck, do 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 do, do baby, baby, fuck. Mommy, fuck to do 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 do. <laughs> Dora the Explorer, but for Pono. Donde esta la G spot? Can you find the G spot? <laughs> the 
Since at the end of the video, the lady has come on her boobs. No, wipe it. <laughs> Sandra, no, wipe it. You know? My biggest fear growing up was that I'd get, I'd contract HIV and AIDS. You know, they came to our school to teach us, you know, about AIDS. They're like, you can swim with them, you can kiss them, you know, you can swim, eat with them, just don't share needles and have sex with them. For me, I'm in class four. What kind of lifestyle do they think I'm living? Where I have access to swimming pool, I'm making out with and needles isn't, you know? That was a weird fear. I should have not feared that. I think I should have feared uh, loneliness and depression. Because <laughs> to contract HIV and AIDS, you need to get laid. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You're not getting, yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> Fucked up childhood, man. I had a math teacher who was into feet. Not centimeters, meters, like feet, like Migu. His classes were very weird. He'd come to class, okay students, today we're gonna count how many fingers we have. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, class, let's count how many toes we have. Sandra, count your toes. Yeah, remove your shoes. <laughs> Give me your socks. Give me your fucking socks. Slowly. Slowly. Put your finger between the toes, yeah. Is it so? I passed that class because I was sitting next to Sandra. I was even I was counting. One, two. Turns out I'm into feet. Yeah. Me, I like feet, bro. It's my thing, you know. No, it, sorry, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I like feet, you know. If a woman can keep her feet clean in Kenya, everything else is clean. <laughs> everything else, I don't have to think twice. I'm actually an ass guy, I like eating ass, but that's how you measure if the ass is clean, you know what I mean? This is... <laughs> actually, I think being into feet is actually a blessing. It's, it's the safest kink you could have. You know, imagine, imagine being a guy who's into boobies. You're walking in town, you see a nice <laughs> pair of uh, Tuzo Brookside's, you know, just... just look! Everybody knows you're a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Ass is even worse, you know, it's, you have to make a diagonal line of vision to get your satisfaction. Feet, guys, that's we just look down and... People think we are shy. <laughs> And the whole time, me, I'm like, one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> well, I know I'm not the only one who's weird. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I know. This turban is hiding my brain like Mojo Jojo. You know? <laughs> <laughs> No, man, I, you know who else? You know what kind of whole like country is weird? It's Japan. You know, their porno is blurred. You know, that's like blurring the dragons in Game of Thrones. You know, that's the main thing, you know? <laughs> Japan is an awesome country. Me, I respect Japan, by the way. You know, whenever I read about news about Japan and they have like natural calamities, the, the number of casualties is usually very low. It's actually pretty impressive, you know? Turn on the news here, something like two nuclear bombs detected in Japan. As a result, uh, three dead, 
one injured and one fifty million trying to catch Pokemon on Pokemon Go. Yeah. You know, nuclear attacks sound fun in Japan. Yeah. But whenever you hear about tragedies in the third world, the number of casualties is usually very high. Funny things have very high casualties, you know. Hear news like bicycle accident in Bangladesh causes 14 million deaths, 9 million refugees, 4 million internally displaced. But how big was that bloody bicycle? And how many bloody Bangladeshis was it carrying? You know? The only reason I wrote that joke is so I could say, bloody Bangladesh, you know. Funny things also, you know, you read about Africa, funny things kill us Africans, you know. I felt it, I felt it when I said us <laughs> Africans. I, I, I felt it, I felt it, so it's weird, but it's true, you know, it's true. You know, I am African the same way Oscar Pistorius is Africa, you know. <laughs> You don't like it, but it's true. <laughs> we are actually the 44th tribe of this country. Google right now the 44th tribe is Kenyan Asians. No, 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 Oscar. Sure. Uh, who are you going to trust? Mzungu from New York or <laughs> Muindi from Nairobi? You know? <laughs> we are, man. Unfortunately, we are. Uh, <laughs> People say you guys are not true Africans. You came late. What's more African than being late? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we like it or not, the black in the Kenyan flag also represents me. So I can say the end word. I'm just not gonna say it because their camera is recording. But I would have dropped it right there. Japan is, uh, is it corrupt? Is Japan a corrupt country? <laughs> Kenya is more corrupt than Japan, right? I blame Kenya's corruption on women. She, she already knows it, because she's a culprit. Okay, okay. I, know, I know I've thrown 90% of the audience away, but hear me out. First of all, it's jokes. Second of all, it's kind of true also. <laughs> okay, okay, can we all agree that men are sexually motivated? Yes? yes. yes. Okay. Men will do anything to get some dim chak dikak, dim chak dikak, dim chak Ta! You know? That's true, right? So if women stopped fucking criminals, there'd be, there'd be no crime. If women just read a man's CV before having sex with him, that would change a lot of men to become good men. Yeah. Says in your CV you are involved in a May scandal in 2009. No pussy for you. Yes. <laughs> you're telling me, you're telling me, if Sakaji is not getting laid, and the only reason he'll get laid is if he fix everything in Nairobi. What do you think is going to happen in two weeks? We're going to have a metro, bro. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> but you guys put your personal interests over the interests of the country. It's because we teach people wrong things. You know, we teach people, you know, women wrong things. Men wrong things. No money, no honey. You should update that shit. It should be no good morals, no orals. <laughs> Then you see corruption ending in Kenya. <laughs> Good men never got laid. Isaac Newton. The Wright brothers, this guy's invented flying and stuff. You know who got laid? Hitler. Mao Zedong. You know. Ruto. I hate my life right now. My mom is forcing me to get married and have babies. Like, mom, what? babies are expensive, mom. She's like, no, no, man. Every baby comes with their own plate. Kilam Toto, she said it in Kiswahili, Kilam Toto, kukuya Yeah, I mean, you know. Ooh, we have enough plates. You know, babies. 
babies should come with something you know more useful yeah. bring bitcoin motherfucker you know that's that has value the fuck wants plates bro in every baby brings plates every bro you know bring every baby should have something that's customizable to the area they are being born you are born in kenya you come with like an id you know, just, just in case born in norway it's cold you come with a kilam toto kujana jacket yake born in america kilam toto kujana bulletproof jacket yake <laughs> Thank you, New York. <laughs> and I can't have a baby now, man. You know, because you need a woman to have a baby. <laughs> I can't just, I mean, I can just chuck out seed, but it needs to go somewhere to be planted, you know. <laughs> and it sucks, she's bringing up right now as if she does not know. I just went through my first heartbreak at the age of 29. Well, women don't all this is your fault <laughs> oh oh my ass bro what the fuck that's like going to an alcoholic anonymous meeting and you say i am an alcoholic and johnny walker is oh venture <laughs> you're the reason i'm here fucking what are you oh unfortunately i'm a guy who likes hand jobs you know cuz i am corner you know <laughs> <laughs> and as a guy I know I know the best hand job is going to come from a guy you know just just critically think about it just think about it a bit before you think about it okay let me let me help you with the knowledge i received from USIU remember <laughs> think about it who do you think would be good at skateboarding somebody who skate boards since the age of 13 every night for at least 3 times a day <laughs> or somebody who skate boards once in 3 months and they have a headache after 2 minutes who do you think <laughs> will know how to do a kick flip on that fucking skateboard it's the kids man and think about it, every guy has practice I could give a hand job to any guy in this room. <laughs> and in 2 minutes we are done. We are fucking Cuz look sure the the brand is different but the part number is the same the The OEM number do match. Yeah. 2 minutes, you know. And I say 2 minutes because the first 90 seconds is just me letting him get used to my temperature and texture. <laughs> You okay bro <laughs> Tight Bam 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 we're done hey, It's not even sexual it's like a massage you know? <laughs> Women give shitty hand jobs you know Yeah no one tells you cuz we're just happy you're touching it you're like this is the best You guys give hand jobs the way rally drivers change gears you know it's fucking one and two and <laughs> just keep it in neutral just <laughs> you're halfway there up and down up and down it's a vertical apparatus i don't know why you're, no way you're trying to play fifa with my penis you know fucking r3 bitch just r3 <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was gay just for the best fucking hand job, you know. Speaking of homosexuals. <laughs> I believe at least in Nairobi, okay? At least in Nairobi, being gay has quite a lot to do with your pocket. You know. Every gay person I've met, they're always so high class. They're always so posh. They all have this deep fried Kim Kardashian accent. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm on that's the bomb. That's the bomb. 
विकली रिलैक्स वेर एट द टेम्पल यू स्केरिंग माई फादर बन स्पीच शील ब्रो Look, I'll believe being gay in Nairobi has nothing to do with your pocket. When I hear about gay people in Kibera, when I turn on the TV and one of them is like, "Bro, watch the Kumbi too cool." Me who bend a more. Anyway, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much. I'm on the journey. You guys have been lovely. I love you bro. Love you too my man. So fucking